What's going on, Assassins? It's Starstrider, of the YouTube Assassin, and we're continuing doing the Mastery Challenges Part 2. Right now, we're at St. Gulath's Point. Just sounds nasty. We're going to go with the Trial of the Bear. We have to complete it within 2 minutes, complete within 2.30, and kill all guards. So, basically, what we want to do is kill all the guards within 2 minutes. So, I believe this has... I believe it puts like three minutes on the clock, maybe. Let's take a look. Alright, so in this one, you are going to be spear fighting. If you don't know how to spear fight, you definitely need to learn. We're just going to bash through this thing right here immediately. We're not going to do that. We're going to go and start with the stabby stabby against the guard. Very hard stabby stabby. Don't do light stabby stabby. Hard stabby stabby. Then we're going to do the Valkyrie kick, and then we're going to do more stabby stabby. That's how we're going to do this. Now, we want to build up as much stuff as we can. We want to continuously be doing this Valkyrie dive and grabbing any purple juice that we see laying on the ground. That scissor stuff, the mushrooms, hard stabby stabbies. Get through here as quickly as possible. Run. Grab that if you can. Stabby stabby to the next area, and just keep going. What you want to do basically is you're using the Valkyrie dive as a shortcut and you're taking these guys out. You want to make sure though that you're actually killing these guards. Sometimes you'll knock these guards off and nothing will happen. You see how I just turned around after I defeated that guard and I just grabbed that guy right away? That's what you want to do. You don't need to kill the mannequins. You do need to kill these guys. So definitely hard stabs as quick as you can. When you see Stomp or, you know, like the Finisher, do that. Here, look, I'm going to jump across here like that. Didn't even have to. We're going to power through there. There we go. Valkyrie Dive. That's going to be your uh, strategy. Every time you do, like, the Stomp or whatever, it's going to take these guys out. It's going to stop time, basically. So there we go. We knocked him down. We're going to get into it with this guy. We're going to keep stabbing at him. There's two other guys here. We want to make really quick work of this guy. Those other guys are just archers. They're not going to be as strong. So we're going to get up here. And here we go to go. Stabby, stabby. And then he's done. Now we're going to go to the other guy. We're going to climb up there. And it looks like we're barely going to make it. But we're going to do it. And stabby, stabby. And stabby, stabby again. There we go, and we won. It looks really, really difficult. It's all a matter of you learning the pattern. You have to learn where everything is and where everyone is. And definitely use that Valkyrie dive to kind of teleport yourself across distances, across gaps. And then, like I said, you want the hard stabby stabby. Super stabby stabby. Next, we have the Trial of the Wolf. Simultaneous kills, weak points hit, and eliminate all guards. Now, this one, this is going to seem a lot harder at first than it actually is. When you kill multiple guards, you don't have to just press the button once and, you know, you'll aim at two guards and fire off the arrows. You're actually going to hold down the button. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. We're going through here. And this is going to be our first two victims. We're going to shoot the guy in the leg because we need weak points. Get them both. Now we're going to activate our ability and hold it. You see how all those little targets appeared? That's what you want. That way it takes them out. It takes all their health out. And what you're going to want to do is... If you get better, you're going to do it with all four of these guys. Now, I don't know why on this one, like, I just couldn't get the aiming right. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was going on. But what basically happens here is that if you can't get two guys or three or four at the same time, just try to get only two of them at the same time. If you get two of them, you'll be able to, you know, still have a count as multiple and then go for, like, you know, the other two. And that'll count as multiple as well. So, yeah, I did this completely messed up. I should have been able to get all four of them. And then just from that little alcove, 
just take them all out. So here we go. There we go. And we're going to hold our thing. It's a lot easier when they're all down and you could just, you know, pull the trigger and get them both or all four of them. Now, you see, I only got two. You don't have to, like, weaken them all. There we go. So now I'll get those two. Still counts as a simultaneous kill. It's just two instead of four. In this area, we're going to find two of those blue Raphael <laughs> those things, which will give us more bars. And then we're going to come over here. I believe this one was a little difficult for me. I couldn't get all three of these guys. And normally there's three guys waiting here, but for some reason only one was there. So I had to wait till the other two spawned in. What a pain that was. So anyway, again, we're going to be doing the same thing. Now with the shield guys, you definitely want all these guys down and the shield guys down. So that that way you're able to just take them all out and the shield guy doesn't have his shield. And he's got a problem, you know. So in this case, I, I wasn't quick enough. Here we go. Hold on. And, and I'm having problem. Look at this. Only because I want to uh, I want to show you guys how to do this stuff. There we go. So now we're going to look at as many points as we can on all of them. And of course, they won't let me. There we go. Pull the trigger. Got all three. Look at that. That actually worked out. That's pretty amazing. All right. So we're going to continue our move. You could either go right or left. I decided to go left where they got these uh these like dancing stabby in and out guys. I'm going to take their kneecaps. These, I think, are the uh, more difficult guys because you got to take out their kneecaps. And they're not going to let me do this thing. So I'm going to bring them out to like this area down here where I'll have more room because I'm definitely not going to have the room here. They're going to, you know, get all up on me and stab me. So I'm going to bring them out out here. And here they come. And now I'll be able to kind of zone in on all of them. Pull that trigger. Okay, so I got two. I missed the third. I'm not going to panic. What I'm going to do is go to the last area. And I'm going to get as many of these guys as possible. Again, taking the kneecaps. And then taking them out. And possibly even bringing them out so that that way they're out here while we're doing this whole thing. So here we go. Got this guy. So I got like five in total. This guy is really hiding those kneecaps. So I'm going to try to get extra tricky here and take out maybe three and then... Oh, well, messed that one up. But that doesn't matter. I'll still get uh, it, it'll still have enough simultaneous kills. Watch this. Man, these guys are such pains. Alright, so got two of them left, two out in the open. Those are the last two remaining. Miss me? Miss me with that BS? You miss me with that BS. Try to bring them to an open area where I'll be able to take them down. And just to make my life easier, got rid of that guy's shield. Now they're both kind of suffering. I'm going to go around. I'm going to get rid of this freaking thing there. Okay, here we go. And... Nope. And here we go again. There it is. So we got them all. That's all you had to do. Now, this may take you a couple of times because it is kind of difficult, like trying to get them all together. If you can get them all down on their knees and then do the multi shot, that would make your life way easier. Doing it, you know, the way I was doing it is a little difficult because you kind of got to dance around with them. So you definitely don't want to do that. Now, <laughs> the Trial of the Raven. This one, believe it or not, not 
that difficult. You just got to know exactly what your tools are. And the main tool you're going to be using here is going to be that sleep arrow. That sleep arrow is going to give you the hookup, trust me. So here we go. First thing we're going to do, we're going to grab these arrows. We're going to leave the mushrooms alone because we're going to be building up ability as we do our assassinations. It's so right here, right away. I'm going to air assassinate him. We need air assassinations, remain anonymous, eliminate all the guards. Every one of these attacks should be an air assassination and you need to remain anonymous. After I did those two guys there, after they, we got them both killed, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go across to this tower. I'm going to take out the guy in the middle first. Then I'm going to climb the ladder and take out the guy on the top. Now, in order to take the guy out on the top, this is where we're going to use our sleeping arrow. We're going to put him to sleep right there. And then, believe it or not, we're going to get on the rock wall here, on this little stuff. You believe that jumping from here counts as an air assassination? Yes, it does. There you go. So now we're able to go on this little ledge here and get the guy on the bottom. Boom, that's all those guys there. Now, just like with any of the stealth things, you really do have to just have patience. Don't just rush. If you rush, you will fail. All right? This little room, that's going to be our next group that we're going to take out. So we're going to get up here. We're going to jump on that rope there. Now, like I said, patience. This guy we're going to assassinate, but we're going to wait till the other guy walks over to those three over there or those two over there. And there he goes. We're going to get our sleep arrow ready. And we're going to aim right there. That takes all three of them. And we're going to jump immediately on this guy. So that, that way we don't take out any of those. Or, or we don't have to uh, see him run away and try to figure out what happened. The other thing. Really, really stop the urge to assassinate. Like chain assassinate. Don't do it. You know how many times like they actually like show you the thing and you want to just chain assassinate? Don't do it here. Okay, this guy right here, unless you jump up on the fire, which I, I probably should have done that. I let him go. I let him wander because we'll get him later on. Now, this area, this was the next area that I wanted to go to. And I, again, you want to be patient. There's these three guys there. What we're going to do is we're going to wait for the guy who's walking to walk back to where his starting position was. The two guys that are over there by that pole, we're going to put to sleep. And the guy who's walking, we're going to air assassinate. So we'll wait for him to get to where he's got to go. We're going to kind of get above him on that branch up there and put these guys to sleep. Leap immediately on this guy. Boom, there you go. Now we're just going to climb this pole and just air assassinate those guys. Why not? There we go. A stabby for you. And then you climb back up. And a stabby for you. Now, just, you know, pay attention to the gauge. Like, you have plenty of time. Those guys are, fall are asleep. When that circle, like, kind of runs out, that's when you know they're going to wake up. So you've got some time. We're going to climb this tower. We're going to do the same thing like we did with the other guy. We're going to put this fool to sleep. And then we're going to jump on the wall. We're going to jump off this little tiny wall. And it's going to count as an air assassination. That is the craziest thing ever. I'm not even joking about that. So now, our dude who I let go is now awake. So now we're going to play a game where we're going to try to get at him without him knowing where we are so one of the things i wanted to do was like try to put him to sleep really didn't even have to put him to sleep we could just jump off over here there we go air assassination and he's done and you notice how we haven't had use for any of the mushrooms that are laying around so next up i'm going to climb this ladder i'm going to go towards our right we're going to climb this wall over here because I don't want to deal with those guys just yet. We're going to climb this wall 
and we're going to go across to get to the last tower that's there. So in order to do it, we're going to get on this platform, we're going to jump across from that beam to that beam, get up here, and you know what we're going to do. We're going to put that dude to sleep again, jump on the wall, and give him a little stabby stab. There it is. Stab him in the foot. That'll kill him. Then from there, we're just going to come over here, jump on this line, and then just air assassinate this guy as well. So that way, you know, we're, we're not really, uh, you know, having to waste too many arrows. Because that we don't want to do. I'm going to check around. Make sure that we got everybody. Okay, so now we're down to the last four. We're at the final four. So this one is a little bit tricky because these guys wander. Well, that guy wanders. The two guys that are standing still will stand right there. And then the final guy will be standing over there. Now, ideally, what you want to do is you want to be able to get above this guy over here and knock out the other three guys. You may not be able to do that. All right? As patient as you are, you may not be able to do that. You may get two of the guys, and then one guy is, you know, walking off, and you're able to stab your guy. So this is what I did. I decided, let me kind of put these guys to sleep. I got plenty of arrows to do it. Come over here, get out of the way. That guy is walking towards there, which kind of suits my needs. And I'll put them all to sleep again. Now, I'll get the furthest guy because that's the guy that I knocked out first. And we definitely want to get him. So, here we go. Let's air assassinate. That was beautiful. Now, we want to get these other guys. You could climb this pole just for safety and security. I'd rather do it from the ladder just in case I mess up and accidentally stab one of these guys. You know, like trying to climb the pole. Because, you know, when you're in a rush to do things like that, sometimes those things happen. So here we go. But I still have plenty of time. And if I run out of time where one of the guys wakes up, what I could do is just move out of the way and, you know, hide. Let him wake up. Let him, you know, search around and try to find another vantage point to take them out. But there we go. We got them all and we've got the gold. So that was it. That was all there was to St. Guthlock's Point. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And you know we're definitely ending this on a ya -yeet. ya -yeet.